Aero News Network. I'm Rex Alexander here on the grounds of Oshkosh at Air Venture with our good friend Jean Boti from Volt Aero. So Jean, a lot of great information coming down the pike. You've got some really exciting news coming out on some of the new technology that you've unveiled here today. Tell me a little bit about the new uh, design of the engine and the system that you're bringing to uh, Oshkosh. Yeah, so we have designed this uh, a system that is a hybrid per hybrid powertrain that is patented now in 62 countries, including the United States, both for helicopters and also for obviously aircrafts. And what we want to bring today to the United States is a technology that can be applicable to LSA aircraft for kits aircraft or drones everything that is in a non-certifiable environment that it should be available very soon and not only we want to bring the technology here but we want to fabricate the technology here i think that's an important point we have uh, established a relationship with a company altisky to be able to build and distribute within the united states and in my understanding you said it was already patented in 60 countries and if if i put this on my aircraft it's already certified right so, as I said, you don't need to certify it because if you are in LSA or if you are in drones, you don't need a full certification, okay? But you got a very solid engine from Kawasaki four-cylinder, very powerful. It's 200 horsepower. And then you got an electric motor from Safran. This one has been certified anyway. And that one is 60 kilowatt. 60 kilowatt is 80 horsepower. So you got 280 horsepower to give you what we call the push to perform. Also, you're looking into the future and you partnered not only with Kawasaki, but you're also talking in the hydrogen world. Can you tell me a little bit about that part? Yeah, so we are right now, obviously, these engines can run out of half gas, but they also can be running out of unleaded gasoline because they come from the automotive world. So we have that flexibility, but with Kawasaki, we're also developing technologies that we will be able to put in our Casio aircraft behind us mm -hmm. that will be capable of hydrogen. It will be liquid hydrogen, but it will be direct combustion into the engine. Obviously, when it gets to the engine, it's gaseous, obviously, but the storage will be liquid. And segueing right into Casio, you've got some updates on uh, Casio. I know you just finished up the Paris Air Show with that aircraft. My understanding is your takeoff role is really impressive for a conventional takeoff and landing. Yes, so we're going to fly this bird beginning of uh, 2026. We have a program with EHASA. We're going to start first to fly it, you know, pure thermal. The powertrain that you have seen here is going to be tested and is going to be tested on the bench. And then at one point in time, because we were first one to validate all the flight domain of the aircraft, we will take off the two thermal engine, replace them with electric engines, and we will run the entire hybrid. So EASA can certify step by step both the structure of the aircraft and then the powertrain altogether. And in looking at the aircraft from what we saw two years ago when we uh, last talked to you, I see that you went from a single pusher to a dual pusher. Uh, what was the genesis of that change? There were some issues with our pusher, uh, like the 337 Cessna. Uh, there is no regulations now that say if you lose one blade, at least at the other there is that, and if you hit the booms or the vertical... Uh, can you guarantee the stabilization of the aircraft in flight? Okay. This is extremely difficult to do. Okay, you'd have to prove that. So we said, okay, let's go back to what we did with the time of the EFAN when we flew, you know, across the channel with that 60 kilowatt all electric. Mm -hmm. We came back to that technology and we said, we're going to put two electric motors in each side. Mm -hmm. So not only we uh, have more redundancy right. from an electric standpoint and we can cross them, by the way, okay. okay, we got two strings of batteries and two strings of motors that we can cross them. Mm -hmm. And then we said, okay, by doing this, obviously, if you want to do commercial aviation, having dual engine, it's much safer than right. with a single engine. So we came to that. Thanks to EASA, who has helped us you know, to evolve, because otherwise it would have been extremely difficult mm -hmm. to certify a CS23 level two with that one. What are you looking for as far as uh, certification at some point in the future? What's your prognostication? My prognostication, <laughs> if it has, you, know, you never can predict anything, but uh, we're moving very well. We started the certification in 2021 October. 
And now we are already at the, the third level. We need four, four levels. Uh, if everything goes per what we're planning, we should be able to have a type certificate at the end of 2027, which allows us already to produce and to sell the aircrafts, you know, uh, mm -hmm. end of 27, beginning of 28. So we're pushing hard for that. No, that sounds fantastic. So, Jean, thank you so much for your time. Always great to talk to you and look forward to the future. It's time to upgrade your power plant to the first FAA certified clean sheet engine design in over 60 years. Delta Hawk's jet fuel powered liquid cooled turbocharged engine produces turbine performance at 40% better fuel efficiency of typical reciprocating engines, while also achieving exceptional reliability and significant reduction in cost of ownership. Reserve your engine package today at deltahawk.com.